When Ina Selke was a young schoolgirl, she would get up on a school day and take a walk from her farm to her one-room schoolhouse. It was two miles, really, in the uh, uh, spring and fall, but in the winter time, I could cross Markgraf's Lake to the school, and then it reduced it to about one mile and a little better. There were eight grades, and we had about 30 children. The teachers used a tool that was just wonderful. Probably a half an hour was given to the older children to go to help the younger ones. It was very important that they got the help they needed because to go on to a city high school, the eighth graders in rural Woodbury had to pass the state board of examination to see if they were ready for the next level. So young Ines walked to school that day and took the test. Then I went on to Harding High School, passed that test, you know. Ines graduated from Harding High School in St. Paul and later attended the University of Minnesota. She credits her academic success to her three grade school teachers that taught her in the schoolhouse. That was a thing that I remember about the rural schools. There was some wonderful teaching done there. Which was the beginning of a long tradition of education excellence in Woodland.